less than a day after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Everything seemed a bit too quiet and I looked at the video cameras and noticed the footage that I was viewing. Something wasn't quite right at our front door. I'm Susan Campbell, Executive Director of the Blue Ridge Pregnancy Center. We exist to save lives and comfort those involved in unplanned pregnancies while furthering the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're the only pregnancy crisis center in Lynchburg. We have two operating rooms that our nurses are able to do the life-saving ultrasound. You would be able to see that flicker on the screen, which is the heart beating. That baby in your womb is a living, breathing, growing thing. And most abortion clinics do the exact opposite. They tell you things like it's a blob of tissue. It's a clump of cells. It hasn't even developed yet. And the reality is that we know life begins at conception. All of our services are at no charge to anyone that comes through our doors. We see anywhere from 50 to 75 patients uh, on a really good month where a uh, crisis is high. During COVID, it was even higher. Roe v. Wade doesn't change anything for what we do. Women will need us now more than ever. When you agree to partner with us and come to our classes to gain the knowledge of what it would be like to be a better parent, what to do with this baby that we're helping you choose life for, we do not want financial resources to be any hindrance in your life. The diapers behind me and beside me, all over me, <laughs> are provided by anyone in the community. Just an amazing support of churches, businesses, life-affirming individuals. People are very proud of what we do. So I was a bit shocked that we had been hit. I first learned of the vandalism around 10 a.m. on Saturday morning after the Roe v. Wade had overturned. As I approached the walkway from around the back of the building, they had taken crowbars to almost all of our windows, two of our doors, and just shattered all of the glass. They had spray painted coat hangers on the sidewalk and put political things like vote blue in red on the stamped concrete. It read, if abortion ain't safe, you ain't safe. I'd say anybody who thinks that it's okay to ban the law is a center that's aimed at helping women at their most desperate needs are cowards by every definition. They hide behind a mask and they think they're making a political statement. Uh, they're absolutely victimizing the very women they claim that they're standing up for. I can guarantee you if it was the other way, if you had over 40 abortion clinics that had been uh, vandalized, uh, you would hear it on the front page of almost every newspaper in the country. There's been such a, I think, monstrous lie that has been perpetrated in the media. The crisis pregnancy centers are only there temporarily, or they're there to quote, trick women. The crisis pregnancy centers that are there to fool people who are looking for pregnancy termination help outnumber true abortion clinics by three to one. We need to shut them down here in Massachusetts and we need to shut them down all around the country. So what I would say to Elizabeth Warren is, have you ever seen the rooms like this of clothes they want to give to young expected mothers or the ceiling to the floor of just toiletries and diapers and the services they provide? Shadow an appointment, show her the life-saving measures that we are able to do, and I hope and pray that she would gain a different perspective. She has an open invitation. What's your message to those who vandalized the Immediate forgiveness. If you were to dwell on what they had done, false accusations they had made, it would be easy to fall into unforgiveness and even bitterness because you felt so violated. But I know as a Christian, I've walked that path many times and I won't allow my heart to go down that direction. 
when they walk through our doors from the moment they enter our lobby, they receive nothing but love and compassion and guidance and support. We not only help save the crisis pregnancy, we care about the whole person.